Hi YouTube, CGL's New Jersey Collectibles here, back with another video. Uh, in this video, we took a second trip to Jersey Coin in Hazlitt, New Jersey. It is a primarily a coin shop, but has recently been transformed into a comic slash pop culture shop of comic books, trading cards, sports cards, action figures, sneakers, and all other sorts of amazing collectibles that you guys can see in this video. Hopefully did a good job uh, capturing everything that this store has to offer. Um, shout out to the owner, Mark. Uh, this is his Instagram right here. Uh, Jersey coin, I believe it's underscore seven, three, two. I'm just doing that from memory. So don't, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but there's his Instagram right there. I'm going to link it in the description below. Please go check him out. Give him a follow. Cause he's always posting new stuff. Uh, he's always, uh, pr putting in fresh inventory into the store. And once again, we'll get into more of that as the video goes on. Um, just another huge shout out to Mo, who is the kid that met me in the parking lot right at the beginning of this video. He's the first person that I saw when I got out of the car. And I later found out through Mark that Mo had been waiting around the store close to about a half hour or 45 minutes or so for me to actually show up because he heard I was going to be there today. And he just wanted to say hi and be uh, and be featured on the channel, hopefully. Uh, that was the goal. So, uh, Mo, huge shout out to you for, for waiting. And uh, look, if you find me on Instagram or something, send me a message and we'll get, we'll get in touch one day. Maybe we can go picking together one day. We'll hit a local flea market down by you and we'll have a good time. So, Mo. Huge shout out to you, bro. That was awesome. Great, great to see you there. Great to see the support. And for everybody else that was in the video also, really appreciate you guys. And so I hope you guys enjoy this one. Part two to the best comic book store in the state. <laughs> All right, guys. Jersey Coin. Check it out. So what's your name one more time? Uh, I'm Mo. Mo? Nice to meet you, man. Fan of the channel. And you usually shopped at where? Jersey Coin? Yeah, Jersey Coin. You guys got to come here. It's like they have so many cool stuff. Here. So much cool stuff. And what'd you get today? I got like... Uh, I got some, I got like X Factor number one, Union number one, and a couple other good companies. Pretty good. You pay good price for them? Yeah, I got good price Good, price. good. Right. Mo, pleasure, man. See you. Thanks for supporting. Once again, huge shout out to Mo for supporting the channel. Now we're here at Jersey Coin. We're here for round two, our second trip. Uh, Mark said that he revamped the store, made it look much more presentable than it was the first time. So let's see what he's got. All right, Mark, give us the tour. All right. You want to check out the window first? Show us what you did here. Yeah, kind of redesigned the whole window. Put like a little battle scene going on. Super cool. Awesome. Yeah, put it up there finally that we're doing cards and comics. Got Darth Maul, Star Wars. Yeah. Hot right now. Oh Darth yeah. Darth Maul's sick. Yeah. It's awesome. Thanks. Oh yeah. I don't know why I didn't show you guys the lightsaber last time. This is cool. Yeah. I love that. Nice. Let me get out of the way of the camera. How you doing? What's going on, man? This is Cam. That's actually Mike's brother. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, What's going Mike. On? Uh, where'd he go? Ocean City. Ocean City. Good for him. New Jersey or. So, just real quick, um, for the people that are watching. Yep. You do new stuff every Thursday? Every you, Thursday. You put out yep. new stuff? Yeah, every Thursday we're putting out new stuff. Um, we usually put out like three to four boxes, like at least one box of dollar comics and one box of like uh, five dollar and one box of just like the better stuff. Awesome. So, awesome. Yeah, we got new stuff coming in like so every day almost. Slabs too now. Yeah. Oh, okay. We just bought a nice collection, got Hulk 181 up there, got uh, First Miss Marvel in 9 8. Wow. Then, uh, you want to see what I bought today? Let's, yeah, let's check it out. It's interesting. Very nice. Jewelry, two watches, size jewelry. And then back. Back? Yep. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, there was a lot, of, it was a mixture of stuff, but this work gets good. Yeah, there it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Secret War 8, nice. That's a nice one. Uh, uh, yes, and then my eight. favorite book is the last one. Wow. Wait, that one. Wow. Jesus. That book I've only ever seen twice. And it's it's such a hot book right now. Wow. First Watcher, you never see those. That is awesome. And it's a nice shape, too. So, yeah, so. that is great. Yeah, so that's the kind Guy of Guy just walked in him. with that stuff? Yep. And he said that he has 18 long box studies uh, left behind. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, he said that he was naming some huge, huge uh -huh. books, too, that he yeah, has. Those two are good. That's a good. 
So, yeah, it's the entire Justice League, Braden Bullock up to uh, modern stuff. So, wow. Yeah, he's supposed to be bringing in like a box a week, though, to me. Wow, very so, cool, very awesome. cool. That's this awesome. This is all new stuff, so all you right. guys want to start digging? Yeah, we will too. start digging. And so if you guys remember the first time we were here, uh, we asked Mark how he was with his prices, and he said, you know, if you made a big pile of stuff, if you made a nice stack, he'd work with us on what, what he's got on the uh, sticker prices. Um, I will apologize in advance that, you know, you guys aren't going to be able to see every single price on these books. Unfortunately, just the, the camera angle doesn't capture uh, everything. Uh, they're all, all the prices are written on the back of the book. But if you haven't seen the first time we went here, go back and check out that video. Uh, it was a very popular one, and we pulled a, real, a lot of really good books out, and we caught everybody by surprise. I don't think anybody was expecting uh, the kind of video that we put out, and we weren't expecting finding the comic books that we that we found. So it was really fun to do that the first time, and now coming back the second time, you could definitely tell Mark has a much bigger selection out and ready. Uh, everything is, is very well presented. He's got the whole front of the store just completely revamped. He explains that he cleared a lot of his uh, his uncle's stuff out his uncle's the owner of the store but he cleared a lot of his uncle's stuff out of the uh, front section and just made it just collectible paradise so it was really cool to go through uh and see everything that he's got and now flipping through these books i'm already seeing a lot of awesome. stuff that wasn't here last time so it's just a good reminder that this guy is keeping the inventory fresh and you, and you got to go through every every box because you know guys you remember last time we were going through boxes and it was like you weren't expecting to find the, the books that we were oh, yeah. finding in there. It was Amazing. just like you got to go through every book because you never know what's going to be behind the next one. I didn't even notice you have all the shoes here. You, were these here last time? All the shoes and the stuff? The shoes were actually in the back of the store. But, yeah. Um, now that like he's kind of letting me do the front, front mm -hmm. leg, I was like, let me do the shoes up here instead. Yeah, it looks and, nice. Yeah. I, I have a friend that's really into it. He, does, he has a, a business where he just does sneakers and clothing and stuff, so... Yeah. Maybe he'll check this video out. Well, these ones don't exist. From 2002. Wow. Low top 8 out of East Bay Magazine. And dead stock low top 9s. Wow. East Bay Magazine. You know, I see so many shoes at the flea market. Like, I got to get it. I got to just be aware of what to look for. Any, any like, tips, like, just in general, if you just see something for... You look for, like, Jordan 11s. You look for, like, different models. Okay. So, this is a Jordan 11 right here. This one's the, um... Columbia's okay the the true blue, or the legend blues and it's like that this pair is such an iconic pair same thing with the space jams they would just be all black with a blue uh blue logo right here okay. and those were from space jam one the movie mm -hmm. so it's like certain models you definitely look for right but the hard part is knowing what's real estate out there right right i imagine that's the tough part i know at our flea market they try they try their best to ban anything that's not authentic like no repro no repop stuff or anything like that yeah no fakes yeah, but that's good but it only you know, it only goes so far as to yeah. what they can actually s prevent oh yeah yeah i mean yeah they're, they're not uh having stock x walking around down there yeah <laughs> <laughs> i was texting uh greg to see if he can come here today but he just got back from virginia yeah that's what he said he and he was like yeah it's just it's gonna be too 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 late for me to get there yeah, I know. That's the problem. Is I really wish that he was going to get better hours because, I mean, closing at 3 o'clock on a Saturday. Yeah, it is what it is. I mean, yeah. on a, like, we just closed, we closed up our uh, flea market booth early just to come down here just because, you know, it's yeah. Saturday, it's hot. I want to be doing stuff. There's stuff to go out and buy and see and stuff like that. And exactly. it's like, it is what exactly it is. Why. Sundays, I'm usually out of there by like 11 30, 12 o'clock at least. Right, right. It's just too hot. And once, and once it gets past 10 o'clock, the people that are interested in your stuff just kind of starts like dipping off, you know? Yup. It is what it is. And then Sunday, though, you get the church people. Right, and, our, and we don't have a flea market on Our flea market only goes on Saturday, so. Oh, really? Yeah, we only got the one day. Mm. I'll say one thing, a lot of the guys that uh, watch a video and everything, I do not believe how many people are coming in. <laughs> That's cool. I, I, I yeah. ran into some of them that said that they did come down. Some people messaged me. Yeah. And I'm guessing there's a couple that didn't haven't said anything, but they were here. Oh, I was having people from actually, uh, one guy from California called me. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I, I've had a lot of people calling up and everything. It's just uh, a lot of them... They're looking for books that I don't have because it's like the the back issues. It only goes so far. Right, right, right. 
Well, hey, you know, you can make deals. Hey, I appreciate anybody that wants to call me too. I mean, uh, exactly. I don't want to go through and look and see what I got. Saturday at the flea market. That's it, yeah. I can do this in the aisle. <laughs> really? Yeah. Wow. I mean, it was uh, Sunday, though, was the day that it was like, you couldn't even move them out. Get a board down here, Mark? Yeah. Yeah, you want to fill it up. Not very often does that walk through the door. That is that is so cool. Yeah. Even better when they actually uh, leave room on it. So. Yeah. So I, I'd probably get one in a month that like people come in and they want over eBay. I'm like, right. I buy it cheaper on eBay. They're like, oh, right. But it's in your hand. We just got our first ever uh, CGC books back in okay. the mail. I'm so excited because we, we've never done them. Really? It's it's crazy. Like the results I've gotten off of that are, are actually insane. Yeah. See, I should. So, what's your TikTok videos look like now? I mean, I, I don't I don't even make them. I just I just take my flea market videos and just cut them up and just make just them in into like thirty seconds and. Yeah. Okay, That's so it. like I would just be like doing the wall and just like pick up this. I'd be like, yeah, I'd be like looking at the wall and be like, uh, you can go through the whole wall and make like ten videos out of it and just <laughs> like, I mean, it, it depends how you want to do it, but yeah, people. They don't find your audience for you. Like, it you finds know. the audience. Really? Use the right hashtags too. It's... That's why. That's why his brother works here. <laughs> <laughs> He's your social media guy. Yep. Exactly. That's good. Hey, nice. since his brother's been working here at eBay, it's been like up like two hundred percent. That's awesome. Oh, you started getting more into the eBay because I know you said you weren't too big into that. Yeah, I started doing the cards on eBay a lot. Good, good. So the comic books, I don't mind if they sit here. So they're like most of these things aren't even posted up on eBay. Right. So, but the cards, I'm like you know, whatever. We have a, a friend who also has a YouTube channel, Junkyard Breaks. He's the same way. He sells his cards like like nothing, and he's like, my comics? I don't want to sell my comics. <laughs> hey, that's what I love to do is comics. Cards? Uh, it's not a Jordan rookie or a uh, Tom Brady rookie. It's like, yeah. Here's just one of those books that I've been looking for for a long time. I wish it was in better condition. It's, it's pretty rough, but he has it priced fairly reasonably. I'm going to see if he can work with me later on. But I don't want to try to um, overhype the store, but it's really hard not to because I thought the wall of comic books was good last time. But as I'm examining the wall, it got tremendously better. There are so many big key issues here, guys. Um, books in such great condition. Like I said, just what he has on the wall alone is just eye-popping. Eye but the, the comics, as we flip through these boxes, they just keep getting better and better. There's a lot of vintage in here. There's a lot of modern stuff. Um... I'm looking at the cards underneath me, and, you know, I'm not a Pokemon guy, but there's a lot of really nice Pokemon cards in here, or a lot of them that are priced, you know, really high, so I'm guessing that they're good. I don't I don't know too much about them. A lot of sports stuff, but, yeah, stay tuned for the rest. Be sure to watch the rest of this video, because I'm going to show off that, that wall of comics at some point, and uh, it's just an amazing wall of stuff, and, and like I said, it got better from the last time. Last time was, was good. This time, it's great, so it's, it's really awesome. Absolutely. That's the best part. Thank you. 
so. Yeah, I mean, it's getting traction. I mean, you're, I mean, that's the great part about coming here was this, that video was pretty good for me. Yeah, that thing had, what, 45 in the first, uh... First weekend, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty good. I told Mike, I was like, I'm going to make it my mission to make sure that that's not this best comic shop in Jersey after <laughs> Right. No, going to a regular comic book store to me isn't. It doesn't do it for me. Like no. uh, rows and rows of new modern stuff and everything like that. It's like no, nah, it yeah. doesn't. I gotta get the. I gotta see the vintage stuff. Exactly. I mean, some of the new stuff is cool. Like, I mean, the, the Siege stuff I got in that one box, and like the Marvel Zombies. But it's like, nah, I like I like the twelve cent stuff. Other thing too that I started doing on uh, YouTube video is now I changed stuff out like I really changed stuff out a lot more. Good. So good. Oh, I love that cover. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. Here's a book that I saw last time we were here and I didn't pull the trigger on it. This time, I'm just going to take it out and put it in the pile because uh, I've, I've been thinking about that book for a while now. So I'm glad it was still here. I didn't miss out on it. And yeah, as I'm going through these boxes, guys, I just the, my only regret is not having more money. That's really it. That's the only regret right now because I would be pulling the trigger on so many more books. But I got to keep the I got to keep the budget reasonable here, obviously. Um, you know, it, it, it's easy to, to be start pulling out books and start making a pile and not realize uh, how much you're actually starting to add up, especially when you're in a store like this where it's just box after box is just so great. But trying to keep it trying to keep it under control here, not not pulling out everything that I like, just pulling out the stuff that I really like. And uh, a lot, like I said, a lot of it's reasonably, reasonably priced. Some of it's a little high, especially the older stuff is a little high. But it's all in workable range. There's nothing outrageous here. And, um, yeah, having a lot of fun going through these boxes right now. Yeah, that's nice. Can you, can you just check that? Just make sure it looks, everything inside looks good. Almost got no issues. It's a good price.
Oh, yeah, wow. Yeah, I have a little addiction to the uh, lightsaber thing. Like, I started off with, like, the Vader's vault ones. But, um, yeah, then Disney started making really high-quality ones. Yeah. This is Sidious? Sidious is right down there? Yeah, that's sick. Yes, I'm more civilized. Beautiful. <laughs> Peace right here. Hey, how you doing? It's just dry now. Nice. I told you he walks around with the GoPro, right? <laughs> That is... Wow. Now we can watch that. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I mean, this thing weighs a good 10 pounds, though. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. I, mean, I have broken a few things in the store spinning them around. <laughs> I can imagine. Yeah, I mean, I, I'll actually have lightsaber fights out in the park like, <laughs> on like weekdays, like when it's dead here. Yeah, <laughs> me and Mike have had lightsaber fights out there. No way. That's so cool. Listen, we're doing grown men stuff right now, playing with lightsabers and toy and Star Wars toys. If you're not into this, I don't know what to tell you. You're, you're in the wrong place. <laughs> What is, what is this Galactus? Is this a, a toy that's, or a model or yeah, what is it? Yeah, that's actually a Marvel Universe from 2011. It's a San Diego Comic-Con. Okay, okay. And up until I think it was last year when they announced that new Marvel Legends one, this right. was the biggest Galactus that you could get at Oh, the that time. is so cool. And this is exactly why. Oh, I love the fact like that it a comes on a card, yes. <laughs> I was not ready for that. No, that... That is huge. The new one is going to be this tall. Wow. Yeah, I ordered one already through uh, Hasbro. But this one is definitely amazing. That is but so... the wall too. Just, I'm just going to shoot uh, three of them if you can give me prices. Just yeah. the Thor right here um, with Hercules, yeah. <laughs> I'm just curious. I would do, uh, I'd do like 400. That's a nice one. Yeah, that's in really nice condition. Especially for a giant size, it's usually, they're usually a little bit more beat up. That's just it, yeah, it has still the square spine and everything. And that's actually, you oh, I know, I know. Oh my god. It would be $8,000 probably if that thing take it out and oh my goodness. you can see how nice that back cover is. I wanted to cry when I saw that, how nice the back cover is. I mean that would probably be a, it wouldn't be we're, like a 8, but I would probably say it's like a good 7. At that we were just talking about these coverless comics at the flea market and they were yeah. the guy was saying that a lot of these guys would tear the covers off to send it back to get money back so the books are mint. And just without the cover. Yep, that's got to be what that was. Because, I mean, look at how beautiful those pages wow. are. I've never flipped through this book. I know. It's just, like, such top quality, like... Okay. That was actually my original uh, reader's copy. That's beautiful. What's the estimate on that? That one I was asking a thousand. I mean, I, I have room on that one. So yeah. The That's day that awesome. I got the Hulk 181, actually, the same guy brought in that. Uh, the Moon Knight number one, first Winter Soldier, first uh, Captain America, Captain Falcon, first Bucky as uh, Captain America. I think that's origin of uh, Winter Soldier. First uh, Spider Woman, which was really nice. Yeah, Marvel Spotlight. Um, and then, being covered up right now, probably the hottest book right now for the newer stuff, right. Young Avengers. Wow. Which I got the 9 6 over there, but nothing like having the raw copy. No, raw's nice. I love raw. Yeah. I've never seen that Avengers cover, Magneto and... Oh, this is I've never seen that. This one's really cool because this is actually the first time Dane Whitman was ever in a comic. Yes. So, yeah. Black Knight. I grew up in New York. That's, I believe, origin of Black Knight, or origin of Dane Whitman. 
how he's related to the evil Black Knight. Yeah, some of these giant size uh, Spider Mans too that I have. It's like I've never seen a lot of these covers, like this collection that came in. Got some weird stuff. Oh, this is awesome. This is you guys watch the channel? I do. Chris, nice Chris, to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. So what, what happened was we lived two and a half miles down the road. <laughs> You're gonna be the next celebrity. <laughs> I happen to I happen to check your. Uh, your channel mm -hmm. and you're like the title was something like great comic shop in new jersey mm -hmm. and i'm like oh this should be cool and all of a sudden you pull in the parking lot of airport plaza <laughs> i go wait a minute that's airport plaza <laughs> it's a comic stuff a shop here isn't that something yeah because i go to all the comic shops around here and then that's where we saw mark and you do the first one and I'm awesome just like uh so cool i was just like this is great and then ever since so i buy some books here and she actually helps Mark. Um, he's got tons of long boxes that he has to go through. Mm -hmm. So she'll come in for a few hours and help him. Great. That, she That's loves awesome. being around books. Speaking of cool. Which, I mixed up everything over the week, trying to like get prepared for yeah. this video. Yeah, yeah. So I was, me and Mike were shoving stuff in boxes. So yeah, next week I'm definitely going to see <laughs> everything again. Probably. Is it the same, maybe Death Wish? Or is that yes. Where he takes the sock. Right. Right. Like, <laughs> That's right. Well, that was, you know, you grew up in Queens. I don't know how the crime was, but back in the 70s, I guess. It was oh, it's hard. Well, this section of Queens, I grew up in White Star, right by the bridge. So the crime by me every yeah, day. Same you know, thing. But if yeah, you got into the subway system, yeah, you could. I remember all the media stuff used to go in there. It was disgusting. Mm. Disgusting. I brought in, I think, 60 Mad Magazines. Call me and call. Wow. Believe it or not, these were the keys out of the Mad Magazines. Okay, I see, man, I just, I have no idea what these are even yeah, worth. I'm looking at them to nothing. collect, honestly. <laughs> yeah. I bet that's a big deal. Yeah. But, like, it's like, who would have thought that the Mad Magazine was those ones? Yeah. What are, you, what are you asking for that Frankenstein one? Just curious. Um, this one, I believe there is um, issues with it, if I'm not mistaken. I think this one was the biggest one out of all of them, too, and it was like there was something wrong. With maybe one of the pages was detached. Yeah, the cover's just written off the top right there. Yeah, that, that's what it was. No, the cover's completely detached. Right. Um, for you guys, 15. And then any of the mags for you um, that are the keys mm -hmm. are doing uh, yeah, the three to fifteen five bucks each. Okay. Just some cool, you know, second Very club. nice. Autographed by Stan Lee. This is a generation one or two, I think. Got this label here, right? Yep. Oh, wow. That's a nine six. Sunfire. What is this? What is it? What is you know what the red label is? I'm not sure. I've never it's seen that. It, yeah, it doesn't have any issues or anything that is listed on there. But you can see like how. Let's say goodbye to all the greater notes. Yeah. <laughs> then we got this one, and then yeah, that's the best one right there. That's nice. That is clean too. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure what the red label means, though. It's really weird to have. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I gotta look that up. Yeah, I'm actually kind of curious to myself because when I bought them, I literally shoved them away. Mm -hmm. And yeah, they've just been sitting in the safe ever since, but I figured that I'd pull out some cool stuff. Next. Forty-five. 
75. 275. 275. Mm -hmm. 60, 80, 100. So that's 2. 20, 40, 60, 80. 280. This part was everything that was brought to uh, this kind of stuff. So yeah, I think that I'll have some pretty good content for the next uh, few months. Nice. And I appreciate that. That was no. Thanks for I looking appreciate out. everything that you're doing. So. Awesome, Mark. Until next time. Yep. We'll be back. Yeah, we'll you, uh, it's great meeting you, it's Todd. Nice. I'll be watching. Yep. Chris, <laughs> nice to meet you. All right, guys. So back at the house. Obviously, we got a good batch of stuff. Um, on top of all the stuff that we bought, Mark threw in this pile of freebie comics for my dad. Uh, so Mark, huge shout out for you for that. We really appreciate it. And uh, my dad. Is uh you know he likes all these kind of dis old Disney books and the Archie books and stuff like that, so Mark took it upon himself to put a little pile together for when we got down there, and gave it to us, gave it really to my dad for free, so that was a uh, super cool, and super grateful, uh you know for me guys you know this isn't really my kind of stuff so I don't know what's in here, um I don't know. Uh, I mean, I guess just a question in general for a lot of you guys, because I know a lot of you guys also like this Disney stuff and this Archie stuff like that, but, you know, are there are there really key issue Archie books or Richie Rich books or stuff like that, or is there just is it just kind of, you know, you, is it number one is kind of the first appearance of all these characters and that's kind of it, or, you know, I, don't, I, I, I just don't know. You would think for the amount of these books that I flipped through, I would know if there's any particular issues to look for or anything like that, but I really don't. Um... Stuff like that, like that's pretty cool for me. Richie Rich and Casper, I, I like that. That's pretty cool. Here's more. So yeah, that, that was a, a nice little stack. That's probably like, what, about 20, 25 books um, on the house. So really appreciate that. Now let's get into some of the better stuff of the day. I don't know if this is any in any kind of order here, but we'll just go through it book by book. This is what um, this is what Dad really loaded up on. He really loaded up on a lot of this kind of silver twelve and and fifteen cent DC books, which I was kind of surprised with because you guys know my dad. Um, you guys know my dad doesn't really, you know, he doesn't really drop more than than twenty twenty five dollars on a book, and like that's rare that he he'll do something like that. But at, at this particular uh, time we went out, you know, like this one here is um, uh, Flash one eighteen. Third appearance of Kid Flash that Mark had at um, forty dollars. I believe he gave it to us for thirty bucks. Like it's just unusual for me to see my dad uh, buy books like this, especially in quantity. Especially since he bought a couple of them, so he was really excited to buy. Um, I was excited that he was buying. I was just, I was just surprised. I was a little taken back by it, to be honest. Uh, Flash one twenty six. Here is one of my books that I saw this last time I was there, and I didn't pull the trigger on it. So when I I came back and saw it there, I was really happy that this book was here, and that's uh, Incredible Hulk one fifteen. Obviously, a great uh, Silver Age Hulk Marvel book, but a really awesome leader cover. And if you look at this book, I mean, there's not a whole lot wrong with it, especially around the borders and everything like that. It's not. I'm not saying that it's perfect, but it's not. It's not rough either. It's a pretty good book, and that, like I said, I saw that last time I was there, and I, w I was thinking about getting it, and I didn't, and then to see it there that time, I was like, I'm not letting it pass up on me again. And most, I mean, just the breakdown of most of this stuff, most of this stuff that's DC is the stuff that my dad bought, and most of the Marvel stuff are, are my buys, um, but that's not, you know, that's not true for everything. It's another... Early DC, Lois Lane, 28. Here was another book I was really excited to get. Mark had it a little high for its grade, but we bumped it down $10 to 30 bucks. But it's Marvel premiere featuring the Legion of Monsters, 28. This is a book that I've seen um, never in person. I never saw this book in person. I might have seen it at a show, but just never really noticed it. But I've always wanted to, to buy this book, and it's really in low grade. It's, it's really rough. But the book's here, and... 
it, it's just it's a great book to have. I mean, it's got so much going on with it with with Man Thing, Morbius, Werewolf by Night, and Ghost Rider all going on on, on this cover. It's really cool. This is a book that I really want to own in high grade one day and hold on to for a long time. And um, this is one of my wall books that I bought. I, I just thought it was reasonably priced. Um, it's, it's not in great condition, but it's not in bad condition either. But it's Amazing Spider-Man 54. Obviously a great Doc Ock cover. Um, $50. I think we, when it's all said and done, I think we got it marked down to like $40 bucks or $45 bucks, um, when you pr uh, throw it all in together. Uh that's a good. It's a good price for this book. I'm not saying we got it for a steal, but we didn't pay through the roof for it either. So I'm I'm really happy that we were able to get that. Um, we'll take a break from the comics for a second, and I'll show you some of these Mad magazines that I got. I don't really collect these, but um, it's all based on subject matter for me. So these are books that I'm not looking to resell. I'm looking to hold on to these, which I'm trying to do less and less of. In case you guys didn't notice on the channel, um, I'm really trying to limit my buys that I'm. I'm holding on to and I'm focusing more on stuff that I can resell. But in this particular case with these Mad Magazine issues, you know, I, I'd never seen some of these covers before. So I was pretty uh, psyched to see them like this, obviously King Kong cover. Um, here we have the Adam West, Burt Ward, Batman and Robin. This I love because I'm a big fan of gorillas and that's just really cool. And the Death Wish, obviously this is a, a bit of a newer of the, of the uh, more modern magazine, but Death Wish is one of uh, used to be one of my favorite movies. I guess it still is. I haven't seen it in a long time, actually. Uh, is that it for those? Yeah, that's it. But but yeah, just trying to limit the stuff that I buy as keepers. Um, obviously, these aren't very valuable. Um, they're not very scarce or anything like that. But just to have like these particular ones, because for me, it's all about subject matter with these Mad magazines. I'm pretty sure that there's a Knight Rider one that we have, and uh, Dad has a six million dollar man one. So we just collect them for. Um, the subject matter, but yeah, really trying to limit my buys that I'm holding on to is I'm trying to actually dwindle down a lot of what I have in here. And the comics shall continue. Some of the stuff that's like not bagged and boarded, I'm, I'm going to assume is like, uh, they were dollar books. Uh, and then a lot of these science fiction magazines, I think dad picked those out, or at least that was just the one. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, number 10. It's in really nice shape. It's one of the first books I saw that I was like, yeah, for five bucks, I'll, I'll pick it out. Ghost Rider 55 meets Werewolf by Night. Star Wars 71. Dad loves his voids to the bottom of the sea. Cull, number seven. Pretty rough GI combat. But like I said, I think that was a dollar book. Uh, the Fighting Prince of the Noggle. Um, these were more Betty and Veronica's that Mark had. And I believe, well, yeah, these are all dollar comics as well. So Dad went ahead and picked these up. Betty and me. Betty and Veronica. Got a couple more books left here. Life with Archie. Archie Joke Book. Richie Rich Gems. Jughead. Here's some Commandy. I really like that. Kind of the killer whale thing that almost looks like uh it almost looks like the fire whales from um Thundar. Now that I'm looking at that. Trials of Flash. That's really cool. The Flash mangled by Mongol. Super cool. Uh, Thor 208. This is one that I pulled out. I, I found it. Did I find this one or Dad? Find I think I found this one for a dollar. Yeah, I just love that it was a, a really cool Galactus cover. I'm just loading up on Galactus books, as you guys are gonna see in the future. <laughs> I'm just loading up on Galactus stuff right now. I just I love it. Uh, the many ghosts of Doctor Graves. Never seen that uh, particular title before. That's pretty cool. 
Sad Sack Comics. For a buck, we got Marvel, uh, Marvel's Greatest Comics. Nice Fantastic Four cover. And last but not least, um, Batman vs. Predator on one end. And on the other side, there was uh, Man Thing number 9. Uh, super cool trip. You know, I, I forgot what we ended up spending in total, but it was somewhere probably between 250 and 300 bucks. Um, obviously got the uh, nice little stack of freebies and just a great experience. Like I said, between, between seeing the store, um, that, that Mark kind of did up and revitalized and it looked, it looks a lot better than, than the first time we got there just because he's, he's put a lot of effort into, uh, making it appear even, even cooler than it already was. So that's really sweet. Um, meeting everybody that was there, everybody from Mo, from when I got out of the car to the, the father daughter that was there. Um, super cool, obviously Mark and, and his uncle and, uh, the guys that work there. Super, super amazing. Uh, getting to hold the lightsabers, really, really fun. Those things were heavy, man. I'll tell you that the Palpatine lightsaber alone was probably like five or six pounds. And then the, uh, the double bladed Cal Kesta lightsaber was like 10, 15 pounds. It was pretty heavy. Um, and then obviously getting to dig through the books was a great experience and we'll certainly be back in the future for another round. Um, but yeah, that's that. That was Jersey coin guys. Like I said, free, uh, feel free to check them out and, uh, go follow Mark on Instagram. So you catch up on all his latest stuff and what he's doing. And with that being said, that's going to end this video. Have a good one guys. See you in the next one. Goodbye.